Booking a trip is exciting, but it can also be stressful for various reasons. For Americans traveling overseas anytime soon, passports and renewals are an issue right now. I'm supposed to be flying out to Paris tomorrow night, and I have a passport that is expiring in May. Um, I was told that I cannot travel within six months of the passport's expiration. I had no idea. Melinda Farina is dealing with the stress that comes from uncertainty. I tried calling the embassy and I tried and tried and tried and tried, kept getting busy signals. She finally got through and got an appointment to renew. Tomorrow afternoon, basically. Um, so I said, well, I don't think that's going to be possible. Can you guarantee that I'm going to get my new passport? They said, no, we can't guarantee it. Her flight leaves tomorrow at 9 p.m. Her appointment is at noon. Big picture looking at the State Department and the passport processing is that they have way more applications than they do people to process them. Travel expert Sandra McLemore says when it comes to passports, you want time on your side. The U.S. Department of State is dealing with a growing backlog stretching back to the pandemic. According to the Department of State, right now wait times for routine passport processing can take 10 to 13 weeks. You can expedite the processing for a fee and reduce the wait to seven to nine weeks. The processing times could still rise as we approach the summer travel season. Last month, the State Department received half a million passport applications. That's a lot. For Melinda Farina, the stress of her upcoming Paris trip has been tough to manage. I mean, it's an awful feeling. And clearly, she's not alone. The Department of State is working to hire more people to get on top of the demand, we're told. You can generally renew your passport online, but you may need an in-person appointment for various reasons. You can get more information at travel.state.gov.